Okay, let me uh, start off this way with a crystal battery. I have this piece of lead and, and I've chopped it up on the bandsaw. And so what I'm going to do is take you over and show you where I'm going to melt the lead and I'm going to show you the jig for the plate. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm just taking my uh, hot plate and I'm melting the lead down in the hair. And then what I'm going to do is um, cast it into this grid here, see? And you don't have to do anything to it because the lead will not adhere to it. It'll just pop right out. So I'll be back. Okay, you can see that the lead's melting here. And that Chuck and I are taking the slag off this. And uh, this is the piece of lead that we cut off and he's going to dump it in here. And uh, it's really an easy process to cast these. So I'll be back. Okay. Chuck is going to cast it now. And uh, he's just going to dump it in here. And you're going to see how we're going to do this. And it hardens pretty. We'll sand this. So we just want to get a plate. You need, and that's okay. What we decided to do is heat the aluminum plate so we can get it to where it settles. Okay, okay so now we're heating this plate because we want it to form down. We got maybe just a little bit too much. see here. We'll have to shape the plate. So anyway that's going to be one plate. And we're going to let this continue to stay hot. And we're going to add more lead. Be back. Okay. Okay. Here's your casted plate. As you can see what we did was we took an ice cream stick and we just leveled it out while it was hot. And now Chuck's blowing this fan on it. To cool the plate, we're going to dump it out and then we'll show you the plate, so we'll be right back. Okay, so we've dumped it out of the mold and we came out with a nice plate, see it? And a nice thick plate. Because if you're going to make a storage battery, you want a nice thick plate with, with real lead. So, I'll be back to continue this process as soon as this cools a little bit. But in the meantime, we're going to cast the other plates. So we'll be back. Okay, now we got the second plate, and you can see the difference in the plates. And what we want is the smaller plate for the negatives, because you're going to have two negatives and one positive. And we'll be back to continue this. Okay, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to use, we cut these tongue depressors, and this is how we're going to set up the plates. The thin negative is on the bottom, and you see the two things here. I'm going to take the thick positive, change it the other direction, add two more. Sticks, or insulators, right now, because we're going to form this in the alum. And then that's going to go the same way as the other negative plate. And what Chuck's going to do is he's going to even this out and rubber band this together so we can drop it in the cup. Make that as tight as you can get it. Rotten rubber band. <laughs> they are. Well, they've been sitting around here for years, so you better get a new one. Anyway, you get the idea. We'll be back. Okay, so it should look like this, and the space in between. And now what Chuck's going to do is dump the alum in here, and he's going to make it a soup. 
with the distilled water. Then we're going to insert the plates. Yeah, so we're going to just make this a soup. I think that's good enough. And we're going to keep adding the alum until this is thick. And remember, we're going to use it for our pasting material. So anyway, you get the idea there that you need a syrup. And that's what we're going to do. We'll be back. Okay. We're going to now make this into a sort of a pretty soupy mix here. And now we're just going to drop this down in there. And of course, one of my rubber bands came off. So. Okay. So now we're going to add just a little bit more water chuck up to this level. Good. And so we're just going to form these now. We're going to clip clip this together and let it do its thing and we'll be right back. And one thing I want to point out to you, do not use tap water or you will destroy this. It has to be distilled water. We'll be back. Okay, we're back, and we're forming this at one amp. So I'm using one amp to form it because I want the process to occur very quickly. And you can see the supplies at one amp here. All right, so now we're going to just let this form, and then we'll be back to show you what the plates look like when they're formed. Okay, as you can see, the forming process is taking place, and the material is starting to turn gray. Now it takes... 3.21 volts and now you can see the currents going down so when this reaches close to zero I'm not going to take it all the way there but um, if we turn the supply off you can see here that's the voltage you're going to have about a, like a NICAD about 1.2 volts because it's alum is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to let this continue to to form until I get the plates where I want them. So this could take an hour, it could take several hours to do it because these are pretty thick plates. But I'm looking for current from this and I want to be able to recharge it very quickly with a solar arrangement since I want a real powerful garden light. And so that's what I'm going to do here. And it's going to be a crystalline lead battery when I'm done. So it's going to be pasty and not require much water. I'm going to be back. Okay, so I'm back and uh, this is what I've done. I've drilled holes now in these plates. And I'm going to put the oxide in these plates and let them form. And then I'm going to fill it with them. And then I'll be right back. Uh, one thing I might point out, you do, do need to have the grid pattern if you're going to get, because the red lead, you want to put the red lead in here and uh, paste that, and then you, what you want to do is put insulators and then form it, and then you'll have a good battery, and I'll be back. Okay, so now what I did is I mixed up the red lead with the elm. And I'm pasting it in these little holes that I just showed you. Now I'm going to put this out in the sun to dry. And uh, then I'll form the plates in the alum battery. And I'll be back. Okay, after pasting the plates, you let them sun dry. And then when they get hard, so you can touch them and know when they're hard. And then I've cut some insulators, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, and then we'll form these things with alum. I'll be back. Okay, we've formed the plates, and this is alum. I'm going to drip it down in here. And uh, we're going to hook up the negatives. Oh, wow, did you see that? That's pick up the positive and we're going to let it draw current 
and you can see that the current here is about a quarter of an amp and I'm going to bring it up to an amp and let it charge in that solution. So it looks like we're putting 5 volts in. I'm looking for around 1.2 to 1.1 volts. Let's see where this is going to go. Okay, so now we'll let it just sit in this solution and then I'll be back and we'll put a load on it. And we'll be back. Okay, we're still forming this. So I want to check this now. And uh, you can see I've got about that much potential in it. And this is after about half hour. And so now... I want to show you. There's the LED or the oscillator. And you can see that I'm going to come down in voltage here because I didn't put much of a charge in this. But that's around where I'm looking for the voltage. Maybe a little bit below this. Somewhere there'll be a plateau where this will stay hanging in there. And so, this is what I wanted to share with you, that you could do it, and it can be done. And it's, it would be much easier, but for those that can't afford to do this, uh, um, you could make it if you had to make it. The thing is, you're going to have to find red lead, in the, and you're going to probably have to take that out of a storage battery to do it. But anyway, here, I'm going to show you the current meter after it discharges a little bit so you can watch that it sort of follows the same as the lead acid battery except it's more of a NICAD battery so and the good thing about this is that you can really crank the current on it if you wanted to put the charge in it without without hurting it and you can take it to zero so anyway I wanted to make this short little video and show you how this works and how you would do it if you were going to make these by yourself but anyway thanks for watching let's take this to zero just real quick just the way it is and I'll just keep forming it but at least you know what I did with the uh, the filming of this so I'm just gonna let it sit here get the clip lead on there so they make connection okay so anyway as we go back and forth by the way this is going to get stronger and stronger uh, because it's going to be able to move back and forth and somewhere it's going to sit somewhere around here it's going to find a plateau and stay there because uh, changing lead acid batteries to elm batteries they're a little bit reduced in their power as far as voltage goes but that doesn't mean they don't have any current because this has plenty and uh, I just got a bad clip lean here okay and I suspected that you could take this right down to zero in fact I'm going to short it out and you can see how it recovers here but I'm just going to short it out and then give it a charge and then we'll see okay so I'm just going to short this and you can see I'm just shorting it across the clip lead so what you're seeing is that voltage in the wire in the wire so I'm just going to let it go to zero here. So you can see it. See there's barely any bubble in it all in here. So now I'm going to just uncouple it. And you can see where it's going to go on its own. And 
it should still have energy even though it's been shorted so it's probably going to sit there for a while, long while and that's more than enough to drive that off later so now let's go back up to the current meter and we'll watch this as it reverses the charge so see it's over an amp now and that's a good indication that it's it's doing exactly like I said and it's acting just like a battery that's rechargeable so it's over an amp now that it's taking because we took that out of it and then let it recover and then we put the light back on it so see it's coming down very it's going to come down just like an ICAD so anyway just wanted to share that with you Thanks for watching.